guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a what's in my purse video. I haven't done one yet. And it seemed like you guys liked my what's in my mini makeup bag video that I did a couple months ago. So I just wanted to show you guys all the mumble jumble that's basically stored in this treasure box right here. So without further ado, let's get started. This is my Michael Kors satchel. I don't really know what it's actually called as far as the actual title of the purse. But basically it's a satchel and it carries a lot of stuff. As you can tell, there's a ton of stuff in here that I'll obviously be going over. I really like this purse because it's super sturdy, but it does get heavy because it is leather. But basically it's just a black purse with gold detailing, as you can see here. And it has little handles with some gold chains here too. So the first thing is my mini, mini makeup bag. I have another makeup bag that's gold and I have it in a bigger purse, but this is a smaller purse and I don't really want to be lugging around a ton of things. And otherwise I just become a hoarder and seriously, I need to like get on that show hoarders because I hoard so much stuff. So in this mini makeup bag, it's not really makeup related it's more like an emergency kit but I just have a lot of stuff in here I'm not gonna go too much into details because I've kind of already gone through that in my other video which I will link down below if you want to check it out but I have some lip products here oops my Dr. Scholl's rub relief which I swear by I have some mints um, hand sanitizer some tampons uh, and just random things in here that I'm not even gonna go into details so that's that. And then I have my keys, which I'm one of those people that have a ton of things on my keys. I think my keys itself just weighs like four pounds in this purse. The next thing is a pen. Actually, there's two pens. I don't know why I have two pens. And then I have a receipt for CVS. And then I have some forever stamps because I love writing letters and sending letters to people, especially when they don't expect it because I feel like small gestures just make people so happy. The next thing that I have is a nude pink NYX Mega Shine lip gloss. I also swear by this. It should be in my little makeup survival pink whatever kit, but it's not. And then I have a charger. I have the i5. i5 what? I have the iPhone 5 and I feel like after I upgraded to the new iOS system, which was kind of a while back, uh, my battery kept dying. I really need to invest in one of those external battery chargers, but I've been too lazy and so I just charge my phone in my car so I always have my charger with me in my purse. And then I have headphones. I carry around headphones with me because sometimes I like going on walks and other times I hop on the metro if I'm not driving and these are so amazing. Don't really know what it's called, but it's one of those headphones that block out everything and anything around me. So this has been so helpful on times where I just kind of want to zone everybody out. I can guarantee that I will probably have at least five more hair products in this purse because I'm one of those people who like when I'm rushing and I'm running out the door I need to grab a hair tie bobby pin whatever and I just shove it in my purse and then I always forget that it's in there so I just continuously the hoarding problem it's it's real okay it is so real and then I have a wallet it's not really a wallet but if you don't want to carry around a purse and you're just kind of running out the door then you can get your phone and tuck it right in there and it's good to go and also I like it because you can put your case in it because I feel like a lot of phone built-in wallets don't allow you to put your case in it too because then it gets too bulky but it's been working fine and so that's that. The next is my glasses and I carry my glasses around with me kind of all the time because I wear glasses when I drive and or when I'm like watching a movie or TV or anywhere basically trying to see far. Is that nearsighted or foresighted? I don't, I don't know. I always get those two mixed up. Anyways, I sometimes wear contacts but my eyes get super dry from wearing contacts and so I just stick to wearing glasses if I can. And this is what I look in my glasses. The next thing I'm pulling out is a nail filer. 
I have really, really brittle nails, which is why I haven't been painting my nails for a while. I'm kind of letting my nails breathe for the month of June because my nails get so brittle and I think it's the acetone that just dries out my nails so much. So if you guys have any recommendations as far as not having your nails break or you know get super brittle, let me know down below so I can work on it. And then I have a pair of sunglasses. These are my Ray-Bans. And then I have more mint. I have Altoids. I can't chew gum. And I've mentioned this before, but I can't really chew gum because I grind my teeth at night and then I just lock my jaws. It's it's a weird problem, but I have it. And so I stick to just taking mints and the one that I gravitated towards this time was Altoids. Now I think, okay. Yep, another hair clip right here. And then I have some coins. I also am horrible. I'm horrible at taking my coins out, which also makes my purse super heavy. And that's mainly because I don't have a real wallet, like a real person. And then there's this side zipper here, right in the front. And I have some bobby pins. And then I have another lip product. It's just the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I think that's about it. I think I'm good to go. I really like this purse, like I said, because it holds a lot of stuff. I definitely did not pay full price on this because I love me some Marshalls, so I actually got this for like 50% off, and I've been using it a ton, and yeah. So this wraps up my what's in my purse video. I know there were a lot of just random things in there, more like clutter and trash, which I'll probably be cleaning up. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and for those of you who entered in my giveaway, I will be announcing the winners in the info box. And with that, I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!